1976, the cinematic world was introduced to Gator, a movie that left a lasting mark on its viewers. Starring Burt Reynolds in one of his iconic roles, this film offered a compelling blend of action, drama, and a touch of humor. As you recall this classic, we have two questions in mind. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's dive into some interesting facts about the film Gator. Did you know that Gator was not only directed by Burt Reynolds, but he also co-wrote the screenplay alongside William W. Norton? This collaboration added a unique touch to the film, making it a standout in Reynolds' impressive filmography. Additionally, Gator serves as a sequel to White Lightning, another Reynolds classic. It follows the adventures of the charming, rule-bending antihero, Gator McCluskey, as he navigates a world of crime, law enforcement, and personal redemption. The film's setting in the rural South provides a rich backdrop that adds depth to the story. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts and experiences. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation going. Gator is a 1976 action crime film directed by and starring Burt Reynolds, serving as a sequel to the 1973 movie White Lightning. The film revolves around the charismatic and unorthodox moonshiner turned lawman Gator McCluskey, who is coerced into infiltrating a corrupt Southern Sheriff's criminal operation. With his wits and rugged charm, Gator navigates treacherous waters to expose the sheriff's illicit activities, while rekindling a romantic relationship with his former love, Lou. The film showcases the American South's picturesque landscapes and the larger-than-life personalities inhabiting it, blending action, humor, and suspense in a quintessentially 70-second style. Gator cemented Reynolds' status as a leading man in the action genre, and it remains a notable entry in his filmography, combining his signature charisma with the allure of the Southern outlaw. Though not a cultural juggernaut, the film contributed to the era's fascination with antiheroes and crime dramas, leaving an indelible mark on 70 Second Cinema. Jerry Reed, famous for singing the theme song for Burt Reynolds' later hit Smokey and the Bandit, also lent his musical talents to the 1976 film Gator. He performed the title song for the movie, adding his distinctive touch to the soundtrack. This connection between Reed and Reynolds highlights the collaborative nature of the entertainment industry during that era. It's a testament to how actors and musicians often work together to create memorable moments in film. Gator remains a notable entry in the filmography of Burt Reynolds, solidifying his status as a leading man in the action genre during the 1970s. This fact is just one piece of the larger picture that made the movie a part of cinematic history. Burt Reynolds initially turned down the opportunity to star in a sequel to White Lightning. However, he changed his mind when he was offered the chance to direct the film as well. In fact, Reynolds has gone on record stating that if he had to choose between acting and directing, he would have opted for directing as his primary profession. This dual role in Gator marked a significant shift in his career, as he not only continued his on-screen presence, but also took the reins behind the camera. It showcases his versatility in the world of filmmaking. Stephanie Birchfield, who played a role as a girl on drugs in Gator, had previously appeared in White Lightning as one of Donna's classmates in college. This continuity in casting between the two films adds depth to the interconnected world of these movies, creating a sense of familiarity for the audience. These insights into the making of Gator shed light on the decision-making process and the casting choices that contributed to the film's unique character. Burt Reynolds' willingness to embrace both acting and directing in this project, and the inclusion of Stephanie Birchfield in a different role demonstrate the dynamic nature of the movie industry during that era. In the 1976 movie Gator, Bama's car is a red 1975 Lincoln Continental Mark IV with a white Landau roof and an opera window. This distinctive vehicle adds a touch of character to the film and reflects the attention to detail in creating the movie's southern atmosphere. It's a notable element that showcases the care put into the production design of Gator. So, keep an eye out for this iconic car when watching the film. And that's a fascinating detail about Gator, adding to its unique charm. 
A movie is filled with such subtle yet impactful elements that contribute to its overall appeal. It's remarkable how the filmmakers paid attention to even the smallest aspects of the production. In addition to Bama's car, there are other interesting tidbits about the movie's production and the cast that contribute to its unique character. Gator is more than just a sequel, it's a film with depth and attention to detail, making it a notable entry in Burt Reynolds' filmography. This detail about Bama's car is just one of the many facets that make Gator an intriguing film worth revisiting. So, next time you watch it, pay special attention to that red 1975 Lincoln Continental Mark IV. In the 1976 movie Gator, some character names had real-life inspirations. For instance, Lauren Hutton chose her character's name, Aggie Wido Maybeck, as a tribute to her late grandmother. On the other hand, Jerry Reed's character, Bama McCall, was named after a childhood bully he remembered from grade school. These real-life connections added a personal touch to the film's characters, making them more relatable and authentic. Burt Reynolds, who not only starred in but also directed the film, sought advice from industry heavyweights like Peter Bogdanovich, Robert Aldrich, and Mel Brooks on how to handle the dual role. This demonstrates his commitment to delivering a top-notch film and his willingness to learn from experienced directors. While watching Gator, keen-eyed viewers might spot a young kid wearing a Larry Sizonka jersey as one of the kids seeking the reward for a lost dog. This subtle detail is a nod to the era and adds authenticity to the film setting. These facts offer a glimpse into the personal connections, directorial dedication, and attention to detail that made Gator a memorable film from 1976. Each element contributes to the movie's unique character and the depth of Burt Reynolds' involvement in its making. Directorial Debut for Burt Reynolds In 1976, Burt Reynolds took on a new role, not just as the star of the action crime film Gator, but also as its director. This marked his directorial debut, a significant shift in his career. Reynolds, initially hesitant to star in a sequel to White Lightning, changed his mind when offered the chance to direct the film as well. He had once stated that if he had to choose between acting and directing, he would have preferred directing as his primary profession. In Gator, he not only continued his on-screen presence, but also took the reins behind the camera, showcasing his versatility in the world of filmmaking. This decision shed light on the dynamic nature of the movie industry during that era, where actors often took on multiple roles to create a memorable cinematic experience. Burt Reynolds' dual role in Gator was a significant part of what made the movie a notable entry in his filmography. And that's the story of Burt Reynolds' directorial debut in the 1976 film Gator, marking a crucial moment in his career as both an actor and a director. As we come to the end of this cinematic journey, I invite you to take a moment and reflect on your personal connection with the 1976 movie Gator. Whether you're a lifelong fan or just recently discovered its charm, there's something special about this film that resonates with each of us in unique ways. Gator, with its captivating characters and memorable storyline, has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema. Perhaps you have fond memories of watching it with friends or family, or maybe it served as a backdrop to some pivotal moments in your life. This movie has a way of drawing us in, and it's more than just a film. It's an experience, a piece of our own history. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories or thoughts about Gator with us. What makes it stand out for you? Was it Burt Reynolds' charismatic performance, the gripping action sequences, or the unforgettable one-liners? Your perspective is invaluable, and by sharing it, you become a part of the rich tapestry of this movie's legacy. Thank you for taking the time to explore the world of Gator with us, and for sharing your thoughts. Your engagement and passion for film make this community a vibrant and exciting place to be. So, go ahead and let your thoughts flow, and let's keep the conversation alive. With gratitude for your time and interest.